Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I'm Vice President at IBM in charge of social business and welcome to our coffee break, our social business coffee break. Today I have a really exciting session, um, again to share about an IBM case study that we have used ourselves and to share some of those learnings. And this is around socially enabling our sales process, in particular in identifying opportunities and forming relationships. So let's start first with identification of opportunities. So let me share what we've done leveraging Twitter, just one particular social tool and technique that's out there today. One of the things that we found was that with our inside sales team, generating new leads, in particular in white space, was particularly challenging. So one of the things that we set out to do is to get our inside sales team to jump onto Twitter. We provided them with a couple of tools. For instance, the influencers in the particular area of which they were selling a product. Who were they? Could they connect with them? And we provided them that list so that they could follow those leaders in that particular space and hopefully have those leaders follow them back and to begin that relationship and that dialogue. The other thing we provided them was a list of some of the clients in that region that might be interested in their area. So again, they could follow them or follow members of their company. They could get to know them over our Twitter line. If you take a look at what we've done with increasing opportunity identification in this manner, the results have been double-digit increase in the number of new white space opportunities with this particular inside sales force that we've been using, socially enabling our opportunity identification process. Now let me quickly switch over to developing a relationship. I have a team in India, very innovative, and the product that they sold was to CFOs, Chief Financial Officers. So we decided to experiment with the way we form relationships. So how do we socially enable that relationship maker? And what the tool we chose to use there was LinkedIn. One of the things that we found was that our relationships with CFOs was quite weak in India. And so what we set out to do is to form a LinkedIn group for chief financial officers in that particular region of the world. Now, we knew that a CFO would not want to talk to a salesperson, but they really wanted to engage other CFOs. So we started out by leveraging the IBM CFO in the region to generate some conversation and to invite some of the people that he knew. Of course, you would imagine that group started out being a little single-digit group. Results today, though, by engaging that conversation, sharing research that are, that's relevant to CFOs, has resulted in the largest social online community of CFOs in that particular region. So this is just two case studies, again, in looking at how you could socially enable your sales process, both in terms of identifying opportunities, as well as forming those great relationships that lead to, hopefully, fabulous sales. Again, this is Sandy Carter, IBM Vice President, Social Business.